Hey folks, this is Anupam back again. I'm today going to talk about how to do schedule refreshes of SAP uh, data into Power BI service. So, you know, a lot of people, they are using um, SAP reports into Power BI. Uh, one of the customers, they asked us, how do we schedule um, SAP data into Power BI refresh as a service? So. So let's uh, dive in and walk through how that can be done. I'll go ahead and share my screen. So to give you an overview, this is what we are we are working on today. Um, basically, uh, your Power BI uh, that can be from SAP also cached, and then you know Power BI service within Fabric is a mechanism through which you, this black line is showing how you will get the scheduled uh, data from SAP yeah, using USB for SAP. What will be needed is this component for uh, which is called the on-premise data gateway. It's a uh, no, complementary software provided by Microsoft that needs to be set up within uh, within the zone uh, through which the SAP system is accessible. And then it acts as a cloud proxy for Power BI service to connect and get the data, right? Rest of the components remain the same. So, uh, you know, we don't need to walk through that. It's just the new component, which is needed. I'm highlighting this uh, OPDG, On-Premise Data Gateway. So how does it look? Let me quickly walk you through into it. So this is your on-premise data gateway. Uh, and whenever you set it up, uh, it allows your Fabric, Power Apps, Logic Apps, and Power BI to connect to your on-premise system. And what you want to do is to make sure, you know, the connectors uh, directory is updated. All right, so that's good. Now let's see how this works with SAP. So on the SAP side, what we're doing is, uh, again, working with our favorite MB51 report. And when I run this with the variant USB for SAP one, I get 36 records from SAP, right? Now let's say we want to set up this on a schedule to be, to be fetched from SAP. Uh, so that I can use it directly in my Power BI service. So going back to my Power BI. So we already know, you know, uh, that we would be able to pull this data from SAP and this is uh, already, the data is pulled from SAP into Power BI. Uh, if you remember from one of my last sessions, Basically, we are using the connector. E for SAP. This is the custom connector which hooks up to SAP Live and uh, sets up the data to be refreshed, right? Uh, the data to be first imported. And then I'll show you how in Power BI service this data can be refreshed. So once you have, uh, you know, pulled the data, you will go ahead and develop some kind of visualization and the next step is to publish this so if you once you publish this goes on to power bi service and uh, let's switch to power bi service now so right now this is uh published within power bi and if you you know want to set up a refresh basically you go to power bi service i'll walk you through and you want to search for your component, which you have just published. I just published uh, search more. This is the one which you have published. So there will be usually, you know, two elements which you will see. Um, one is the report and other is the semantic model. So this is the one with the five dots. This is the one which you want to work upon. So select this and yes, you can refresh now, but you can also schedule a refresh 
for this um, from SAP. So the steps here are you will go here and first select the on-premise data gateway. I set up with this. And then I want to set up the credentials right now. You know, we have set up our SAP credential so that it can log into SAP and uh, go ahead and fetch, right? And then when I um, you know, look at the refresh history for this, this is basically the refreshed ones and then the next refresh would be set up, scheduled for 1131. Uh, let's walk through the steps of how this refresh will be set up. I've set it up for 11.30 a.m. every day. You, the options are you can set it up daily, once a day or weekly. So that's that's kind of, you know, the limitation from uh, Power BI service workspace to set, up, set it up for uh, daily or weekly refreshes. So I've set it up for daily refresh at uh, the time zone. And basically it will, at that time, go in and refresh from from your SAP and bring in the latest data. So once the uh, refresh is set up, it will go and you will be able to see in your refresh history um, what was what was it that, uh, you know, it, if it ran into an issue, then it uh, notifies whoever uh, is the configured notification to be sent out to, otherwise it will show as success. All right. so. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I just thought, you know, this might be useful for people who are trying to set up a refresh service. Um, essentially, just to recap, uh, these are the components, your regular Power BI, uh, Power BI service, and then you will need an o ODP gateway. So just to recap, what did we do? We basically pull data from SAP in a Power BI report. And secondly, we went in and scheduled a refresh uh, on a daily or weekly basis onto my Power BI service uh, so that, you know, whenever we want to, it will be automatically refreshed. Sounds good. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Thank you.